Good afternoon and welcome to the grand final of the 2022 Premier League Next Generation Cup here between Leicester City and Stellenbosch FC. This is the final game of a great week of action both here at Leicester and down in London at Tottenham Hotspur's training ground. And there is silverware at stake for these two sides this afternoon in what promises to be an excellent and final worthy contest. Leicester City ran out 6-3 victors on Wednesday versus the youth team of hero Indian Super League side Bengaluru FC with Disky 2 Challenge League side Stellenbosch FC beating Premier League side Nottingham Forest by four goals to one. And here come the two sides. Leicester City being led out by captain Will Alves and Devin Titus. The number seven for the South African outfit leading out his side for this final here in Leicester. A modest crowd has gathered on the far side of the pitch to witness this game this afternoon. The referee this afternoon is Tom Parsons. He'll be assisted by Lucianne Briggs and Harry Warner with Rob Massey-Ellis, the fourth official this afternoon. Two very strong sides, and this will be an excellent battle for that trophy that you can see on your screen right there. Devon Titus and Will Alves will be desperate to get their hands on that trophy and win the Midlands group of the Premier League Next Generation Cup in association with the Hero Indian Super League and the Premier Soccer League. But now, let's run through how the two sides line up who will be battling out for that trophy, starting with our host, Leicester City. Chibwezi starts in goal with a back five of Gris, Godsmark, Ford, Lindsay, Joseph and Cartwright. In midfield, Alves covering Briggs with Kian Pennant, who scored two in the opening game, will be joined up top by the man who started on the bench that game, Armani Richards. And for the South African side, Stellenbosch FC, in goal for them is Brandt, and it'll be a back for Shakir, Isaacs, De Kock, and Andres. Jurgens Wood and Adams make up a midfield trio, with Van Wick, Boji, and Devon Titus, their captain, leading the line in attack. 
McCandler. Number 24, Ismail Suba. Number 12, Tato Lucas. And number 11 is Roy Keane Avonur. This is the third Next Generation Cup that we've seen the first time in the UK, and Leicester will be keen to make their mark in this competition. They're playing at their home here in Leicester. The new training ground only developed and finished in December a few months ago, and they'll be keen to win some silverware this afternoon and become the victors of the Next Generation Premier League Next Generation Cup. Stellenbosch, the first South African side to contest the competition. And they look like a real strong side. They've got a couple of players who have even represented South Africa at national level, international level rather. And a couple of them play in the Premier Soccer League. And the first team start their Premier Soccer League campaign a week today versus Marumo Gallants. And a few of these players will be hoping they'll be knocking on the door of the first team this season. And what more can you ask for than a moment to shine against some of the Premier League's best youngsters in Leicester City? Stellenbosch only founded in 2016 to a young club. It was after the uh, relocation of Vasco da Gama. They became the first Premier Soccer League side to be based in Stellenbosch in the uh, Cape Winelands. Hence the grapes on the logo due to the rich amount of wine production that happens in the region. Leicester ran out 6-3 victors against Bengaluru who have just finished their third and fourth place playoff. They ended up losing that one 6-1 to Nottingham Forest. And Stellenbosch dispatched Nottingham Forest on Wednesday by four goals to one. Titus bagged a brace with Van Wick and Roy Keane of Enter also getting on the score sheet. No Chris Popov today for Leicester. He scored a hat-trick in their opener, but Kean Pennant does start. He got himself a brace, did have a chance to complete his hat-trick from the penalty spot in that game on Wednesday, but was unable to do so. A fabulous save from Depeche Chuahan, the Bengaluru keeper, as well as on the rebound. But it's going to be Mervyn Bodji to kick us off in the white and maroon strip of Stellenbosch FC. Leicester playing their familiar all blue with a white trim kit. And they'll be defending that goal away to our right-hand side. It's going to be Mervyn Bodji, the 21-year-old striker, who's going to lead the line in this Premier League Next Generation Cup Final here in Leicester. And we are underway. And this promises to be a really good contest. The Shakir. Plays the ball inside and finds Wood. Interesting to see how the pattern of the game un envelops as we go on, of course. Both sides run out quite strong winners in their opening games, so this will be a real contest for both of them and a real test for the defences of both teams because both attacks are very quick and direct attackers. Does it like a back four for Leicester today? They started with a five on Wednesday, but it looks like Henry Cartwright is going to be playing in the midfield like he did on Wednesday. So it's going to be a back four of Grist, Gosmark, Ford, with Jane Joseph at right back and Jamari Lindsay coming in at left back. And it's going to be Devin Titus on the right-hand side of this front three for uh, Stellenbosch. As Richards just plays it back. So it's 4-2-3-1, it looks like, for uh, Les City with Will Alves playing in the number 10 and Logan Briggs out on the right and Amani Richards on this left-hand side. Kean Pennant will play as a sole striker through the middle. Brandon Covert and Henry Cartwright, the two 
in that midfield. Taken quickly, but the uh, referee just pulls it back there. Here's Wood. Played into Titus. Tries to take it down his chest and contested well by Jamari Lindsay. Joseph. Just works it clear to Briggs. He tries to take on his man early and manages to get past him. That's Sean Isaacs who made the recovery challenge there in front of the fans in that stand on the far side. Lindsay. Now cover. Played across to Gosmark Ford and all the way back to Man in goal, Kalichi Chibwezi. Arlo Doherty was the one who started on Wednesday, but Chibwezi's come in today. And now a chance at a uh, early break for Leicester, but just breaks down. And Devon Titus just tries the reverse ball. I think he thought Ahmed Shakir had uh, made his way forward. Here's Ben Grist, the former Grimsby Town defender. Tried to clip a ball into the channel, but Sean Isaacs, the fullback, first style fullback, can play on both sides of that back four. An incredibly fit and healthy fullback. Has run two ultramarathons, the Two Oceans ultramarathon. Came seventh in that as the uh, 56 kilometre course. That's running Cape Town every Easter, and he came seventh in that. So expect an energetic and enduring performance from the Stellenbosch number three, playing on the left-hand side of that back four. So that's the far side as we look at it. And there he is, just trying to step in there. Logan Briggs just trying to roll away from him, but Sean Isaacs just about did enough there. And now looking for Bodgy. Pennant just contesting with Isaacs there, but managed to work it away all the way back to Lee Brandt, the man in between the sticks for Stellenbosch today. Maybe a more diminutive figure than you're used to seeing in a keeper, but he's, well, strongly told that he's a, a reflex based goalkeeper. So let's see some fine stops this afternoon, but maybe there's a chance on the other end. And it's played through, and it's going to be Devon Titus with a great early opportunity, but he just can't get it out of his feet. Just gets stuck under it in the area and just prods it wide. It fell kindly from the box. And he just had a pocket of space, but unfortunately for Stellenbosch, couldn't work it into a workable shooting position and ended up just prodding it wide. Just a mistake there. Ben Grist, I think it was, playing out from the back and tried to get him to his left, I think, but couldn't shift it far enough over. Ended up just scooping it wide. But certainly Stellenbosch having the better of it in the opening six minutes here in Leicester. Here's Oshwin Andres. Born and bred in Stellenbosch. So this will mean... Maybe a little bit more to him than anyone else on the pitch. Was trying to get towards the byline was Ahmed Shakir. But Jamari Lindsay just about did enough to usher him and the ball over the byline. Gosmark Ford tries to drive it into Kian Pennon, but it was met by Carl Jurgens. But now it's broken for Will Alves, who was so excited and won so many fouls for his side on Wednesday. And he might have thought he won one then, but it was actually a really well-timed 
combination challenge from Carl Jürgens and Oshwin Andres. Good step from Cart right there. Almost ran for Amani Richards, but now the ball goes down towards the other end. Cut out this time. Cover. Tries to turn away. Good work from Titus just to keep that one in play. It's a nice play, and it may be a chance, almost a chance for Jaden Adams to break through, but just couldn't quite get the right contact to take it in his stride. Titus looks for the run of Antonio Van Wick. Trying to take on Jaden Joseph on that far side. Van Wick trying to get to the byline, does really well. Delivers in towards Bodgy, but cleared away at the near post by Ben Grist. Good first time pass from Sean Isaacs. And then he goes to ground, but referee not having any of it, and Grist clears long. Against Bengaluru, Leicester faced an intense press, but it was an inconsistent press that allowed them just to pick apart Bengaluru, the, the spaces that were left with the press, but today they're not really seeing as much of the ball. The press is more cohesive from the South African side. And just forcing Leicester to give up possession, and Titus, that's a really nice touch, but doesn't uh, fall for Mohamed Shakir. I'm in Mohamed Shakir. So the uh, referee pulls it back for a foul on Devon Titus from Jamari Lindsay. Devon Titus always seems to be amongst the goals for Stellenbosch. Highest goal involvement for the last two season running. Involved in over 50% of the goals. That's Obviously, goal scored and assists. So that's marvellous numbers for the Stellenbosch captain. As the sun finally shows signs of breaking through here in Leicester. This morning's game between Bangaroo and Forest was overcast and drizzly. But now the sun is out and maybe a chance for a bright start for Stellenbosch here. But Tice just, just couldn't reach the ball in time ahead of Jamara Lindsay and ends up just clipping him. And that's almost sold short there for Chibwezi. Bodji was sniffing around just hoping that he might have a simple tap in there. But Chibwezi was quick enough and alert enough off his line to just clear. But it's Stellenbosch side won the Disky 2 Challenge League, which is a subsidiary of the top division in South Africa, the Premier Soccer League. So they're certainly in an accomplished side. A couple of players who, as I say, represented South Africa at international level. One of those is Antonio Van Wyck. In fact, scored in South Africa's most recent game versus Botswana in the uh, Kosafa Cup. Bodgy. It's going to fall here for Antonio Van Wyck. Here's the cock. Prods it down the line. The chance for Jaden Adams. He tries to slip it through to Boji, but just cut out by Gosmark Ford. Now Jurgens. Marnie Miller can bring it down. It's going to fall here for Kian Penny, who hasn't really seen much of the ball at all yet, but we know what he can do. And he's running at the Stellenbosch defence and tries to get around his man and ends up eventually impeding Oshwin Andrews, who did really well to get his body in between. Key and Pennant and the ball. 
But we haven't really seen too much of Pennant, but we saw him score two the other day. And Oshwin Andrews just guided him away from goal and did really well to win the foul. Shakir, Lindsay, quick on the toes of Devon Titus. Titus can't get past Brandon Cover, who can race forward, prods it out right to Logan Briggs. Has just forced a little wide with that one, wanted it into feet, but just ran across his body. Now Godsmark forward. Lindsay plays it down line to Miller. The touch a little loose. Jurgens does really well to keep a hold of possession, then set it left and find Liam de Kock, who lofts it forward, searching for Jaden Adams. Finds himself in the channel up against Gosmark Ford. All the way back to Ahmed Shakir. De Kock. Now Van Wick plays it forward and finds a good ball through to Wood. And now it's back with De Wick. Antonio De Wick, and it might fall for Devon Titus here in the area. And squeezes it past Chibwezi. And Devin Titus scores the opener in this Premier League next generation final here in Leicester against Leicester. He's so frequently involved in the goals. He scored two against Nottingham Forest on Wednesday. And he's opened the scoring here in the final. It was neat build-up play. Van Wick slipped it through and it came to Devon Titus who just prodded it with his left foot beyond Chibwezi. And the captain brings his team and himself one step closer to lifting that trophy. It's 1-0 to Stellenbosch. And that has got the Stellenbosch fans on the far side in song now. And you have to say it's probably deserved. They've had the better share of the opening quarter of an hour here in Leicester. And Devon Tides had a chance earlier on which he couldn't quite get out of his feet and get it on target. But that one he was able to, was managed to just slip it onto his left foot. And Chibwezi was always going to struggle to keep that one out from close range. And what can Leicester muster up in response? They need to get Will Alves and Kian Penn a little bit more involved. They were so key for them on Wednesday, but right now they're just struggling to find any passes into that final third. Stellenbosch retaining their discipline and shape and with their press. is Isaac, just been a bit under pressure there. He might have to be careful here, but does manage to poke it across to Oshwin Andrews, does Jaden Adams, and here is Adams again, just misses it first time, and manages to find the ball out to Van Wick, and he can run, and run at this Leicester City defense. That's excellent running, prodded through to Boji. Blocked by Comfort Titus, and it's in! It's a double minute salvo for Stellan Bosch, and it's Devin Titus. At the double, just moments after scoring his first, he gets his second. And with only 16 minutes on the clock, Stellenbosch are well on their way to winning this title. It's their captain again. It's his fourth 
of the competition. Excellent running from Antonio Van Wick in the build-up. And he found the ball through to Devon Titus, who just does not miss when the chance finally fell to him. And with 17 minutes on the clock, it's Stellenbosch 2, Leicester City 0. Here's Alves. How can Leicester City respond? There'll be shell shots with this rapid, quick fire start from Stellenbosch FC. Alves, seen very little of the ball so far. It's the Stellenbosch attackers who have stolen the limelight and they've got the wind in their tails at the moment. Cartwright. Now Alves, there we go. He turns away from his man. That's what we saw on Wednesday. Now he can run out of Stellenbosch defence. Prods it out to Briggs, who takes it down very nicely indeed. Strokes it into Pennant, but he's just caught on his heels. But it's excellent work from Carl Jurgens to nick it from him. And here you go, Stellenbosch again. Van Wick. Adams now squeezes it out towards Titus. Shakir, now Titus again into that right-hand channel, drives it low and the sliding block came in. I think he's just picked up an injury there. Can't quite see who it is down on the floor there. Ben Grist, it is, who was just sliding across and got the interception and uh, received a knock in the process. Alves just managed to hold on to it under pressure from Jaden Adams. Now here's Jamari Lindsay. There's Titus. Fizzes it down towards our producer. Great touch from Jaden Jones from the far side. Manages to just win a throw in off Sean Isaacs. Here's Penham into Miller. Richards, rather. Here is Richards again. Joseph can't get past the man, but the linesman on that far side doesn't see anything wrong with the intervention from the Stellenbosch defender. And now Boji just trying to hold it up and bring Van Wick in to play, but doesn't quite work out. Now Alves can bring it forward for the Foxes. Pennon might have a go from Rangel on his left foot. And that's a fine finish from Kean Pennant to halve the deficit. He only found half a yard of space just outside the area, but let fly on his left foot and found that bottom right hand corner. And Leicester barely had a sniff so far. And that might just be the remedy that they needed to get back into this next generation final. Scored a double on Wednesday, just like Devon Titus did in his game. And now Pennant has joined him on the scoreline for today's game. Oh, and it's breaking through here, and it's a chance for Adams. He's running in the defence, he's got Bodgy with him. He's also got Devon Titus. Maybe can he get his hat-trick? He can! It's unbelievable. Just seconds after Leicester City, part of the deficit. Devon Titus bags a hat-trick inside 22 minutes. It's astonishing from Stellenbosch. What a response. Devin Titus, the captain, 
everything he touches so far has turned to goals. You just knew when it fell to him what the end result was going to be. You have to trust his right foot, and boy, has it delivered today and this week. That's a hat trick today to add to the two he scored on Wednesday. And just when Leicester had a way back into the game, Stellenbosch and Devon Titus closed the door a little further. Is Grist. Now Alves. Barely been time for a breather in this one so far. Here's Lindsay. Looks to deliver but just blocked and it's going to come back to Harvey Gosmark forward. Well, we promised the entertaining encounter and boy have we got one so far. And here's Briggs. Trying to muster another response for Leicester. This time, move just breaks down, but they can't get out, and it's given away to Gosmark forward as Stellenbosch just retreat back towards their own goal. Here's Jaden Joseph. Threads it down line for Logan Briggs to collect. A little bit loose, and it's allowed. Stellenbosch maybe to mount another attack with so Bodgy. And here's the man of the moment, Devon Titus. Isolated for now, but that's lovely footwork from the man with the captain's armband on and leading by example in this final. Brandt looks up towards Adams, gets a flick on him, Bodji's there and he's got Ahmed Shakir up with him and but uh, it's a little bit loose there from Bodji and allowed Jamari Lindsay to come and cover the depth on Shakir. Here's Gosmark Ford. A lifelong Leicester City fan will be Wanted to make amends for his side here. Almost an excellent touch there from Jaden Joseph on that right-hand side. You know, Leicester started with a back four with Cartwright in midfield, but it looks a little bit like they might have changed it up a bit now. Cartwright's been dropping a bit deeper and allowing Jaden Joseph to advance further forward on that right-hand side with Grist just shifting over to right centre half. More akin to the shape that we saw them take up against Bengaluru earlier this week. Adams. Andrews just being pressured by Richards and has to go all the way back to Lee Brandt. Excellent hold up play and flick on from Bodgy, but the touch Madden's just a little loose and just allow Gris to come off, come across and uh, make that intervention. And Chibwezi. The former Chelsea keeper, able to come and collect. And his pennant trying to accelerate away at Isaacs. And accelerate a bit too much so he couldn't slow down and just rams into the back of Sean Isaacs. And the free kick goes the way of the white and maroon of Stellenbosch.
Van Wick. Just allows it to run across his body, but he's met by three Leicester City players. One of them was Logan Briggs, but he just let his side down there, trying to thread a ball forward to find Pennant. And just a bit loose. Shakir tries to dart past the man. That's a real battle between those two. And this time, it's Shakir who has to resort to evasive measures to bring down Jamari Lindsay. Alves. Less City captain. Starred for the under 18s last year, but also featured regularly for the under 23s in Premier League 2. And maybe here's a chance at the other end. It's with Richards. And Leicester have another goal back. Amani Richards. Starting today ahead of Popov, who scored a hat trick last week. And now he's made his impact in the starting lineup this week. It's been a game, a few chances for Leicester, but they've taken both that have come their way. And that makes it 3-2 now to Stellenbosch. But now can Leicester manage these next couple of minutes where we know Stellenbosch are going to come at them. And here's Alves, pokes around the corner and it's nice exchange play and Alves plays it down the line and finds Pennant now on his left foot, goes for the curler. Just gets underneath and curls it over the crossbar. What an opening half an hour we've had here in Leicester. Really well contested game and it's not like the goals have all come from mistakes. It's been quick, nifty build up play and a display of excellent finishing. And just a reminder that if the games are level, the scores are level rather, after 90 minutes we will go straight to penalties, no extra time. Adams, Robert, Carl Jurgens, just took a little knock to the face there. Ball driven forward, it should be watched by Gosmark Ford, does well to hook it back to Chip Wazy. Alves just dropping a little bit deeper now to receive the ball and try and kick start the attacks and here's Richards again he's trying to just get in behind and he's wrestling with Liam the cock Liam the cock just showing his prowess there just to hold off Armani Richards Cross comes in, looking for Richards, and oh, and it's just dropped there. And it might break here for Brandon. Cover, blocks on the line, but the chance is still there. Still not clear, and eventually it does fall into the hands of Lee Brandt. Not sure it was who was covering on the line there, but an excellent, excellent covering from one of the Selenbosch defenders there. Lee Brandt just unable to claim it. Jack here. Looks at a switch of play, but only finds the head of Ben Grist. Now Adams. He loses out in midfield, and it's Alves who breaks. Chops one way and then the next. 
into Pennant now. Trying to work it onto his left foot just too far outside his body and Oshwin Andrews can sweep up. Titus, his touch a little heavy. You can see how the pattern of the game has changed. It was all falling for Stellan Bosch in the opening 15 or 20 minutes. And now Devon Titus and Antonio Van Wyck just haven't seen as much as the ball that they would have liked to. And instead we're seeing the likes of Briggs and Pennant and Will Alves seeing a lot more of it in the Leicester City colours. But maybe a chance here for Carl Jurgens to play it forward to Boji. He's got Isaacs busting his guts to get up with him. Now here's Van Wyck. Squeezes it out to Jaden Adams. Van Wyck. Good exchange play. It's going to come through here to Adams, is it? Gosmark forward. Covers across well, but it's still not over. Sean Isaacs delivers on his left foot. Deflected. Not of the way by Gosmark forward. Jürgens looks at the clip ball in behind and it's going to run through to Van Wyck. Just force a little wide. Now Isaacs. Carl Jürgens again. Might go for a shot from range here. Oh my word. That is unbelievable from Carl Jürgens. A dipping effort from all of 30 yards. Restores a two goal lead for Stellenbosch in this final of the Premier League Next Generation Cup. It's absolutely stunning Well, Carl Jürgens. He's earmarked to become a future captain of this side. And wow, he's shown his credentials in front of goal there. The space just opened up and just sat up so nice for him. And it's one of those ones that you just feel you have to hit. And Chibwezi just watched it soar over his head. And in the first half here at Leicester, it's Stellenbosch 4, Leicester City 2. Now done the other one. Here's Briggs. And it's going to be a corner. What an entertaining final this is. Just non-stop action. And the corner is taken quickly to fit with the rhythm of this game. Here's Alves. He can't get under his control. And now a chance for Bodji to attack. He's got Titus to his right, driving into that channel. Looks really cross and it's just too far ahead of Bodji. Cover. Here's Joseph. Just not quite on the same wavelength there is either Richards or Briggs. And allows Stellenbosch to come in and mop up. Cover. Just nicks it away from Shakir. Cartwright looks for the switch of play towards Lindsay and into touch it goes from Ahmed Shakir. Can't right. Now God's Mark Ford plays it first time out to Jamara Lindsay. He's got a pocket space to deliver and it's not of the way by Liam de Kock out for a corner to Leicester City. Lindsay just found a pocket of space and tried to deliver 
maybe a slight lack of communication between Brent and Liam de Kock there. And the corner's taken quickly for Alves. Can't quite work his face for a shot, but on this near side, Cartwright might have space for a cross. Gets past Titus too easily and gets to cross in with his left foot towards the far post. Just flicked away by de Kock. Ways. He just shows good composure to knock it past Bodgy and then find the pass forward really well to find Pennant, but he couldn't hold it up. Grist. Now Joseph. Got Briggs up in support. God's mark four. Out to Jamari Lindsay. Cover. They'll want a goal before half time or Leicester City just to make that a little bit easier to come out the second half, but Jaden Joseph can't quite find a way through there. Andrews clips it across to his fellow centre half Liam de Kock. Oh, and it's given away, and Gris might be able to prod a ball through here to Briggs, and it's just too much on it. Gris just trying to slip through Briggs there. Cover. Just gets up high to win that chance and then Lindsay just puts his body between Titus and the ball there and wins the free kick for his side. Grist looks forward but can't find a blue shirt and Decock can just clear it long onto the head of Grist. Now Penham finds Joseph. And then across comes Sean Isaac just to make the intervention. Briggs just trying to turn away on the edge of the area. As we enter the final five minutes of an enthralling first half here in Leicestershire. Driven out towards Lindsay, who takes it down with his left foot. Delivers across early and it's almost going to find its way through, is it? Almost into the back post from Kian Pennant. Looked like it was going to find the heads of Romani Richards, but it came at the far post for Kean Pennant. And he couldn't quite guide it on target. Just a quick upping off the tempo there. Here's Alves. Breaking forward. He goes for goal from range, and it's spilled, but held at the second time of asking. 
by Lee Brandt. Shakir, first time ball, might find Adams, but it's instead cut out. Straight into the dugout of the Stellingbosch coaching staff down to my left hand side. He'll be more than pleased with their side's first half performance. But it has gone a little bit quiet on the offensive front for Stellenbosch since, well, since they scored their third goal, that fourth goal came of absolutely nothing from Carl Jurgens. So they'll just need to keep switched on and reassert themselves in the second half and try and restrict this lesser side from getting back into the game. But here's Dieter with a, Dieter with a chance into the area and it's cut back and there's not a white shirt there to gobble up the opportunity Van Wick had just peeled off towards the far post instead <laughs> Lindsay here's cover can't quite get past two Stellenbosch players there, but a free kick nonetheless goes the way of Leicester City. It's maybe a chance to deliver into the box, but no, Will Alves continues the passage of play. And it might be a struggle for Briggs to keep that in, but he does well. Here's Lindsay, delivers from deep and it's knotted up and high, Moshin Andres. And then good claim from Lee Brandt under pressure from Kian Pennant there. Joseph makes a sliding interception across. Comes the cock and now he sets it for Isaacs and just then Adams trying to dart forward there from central midfield. Cover quick on his other number, but now still advancing as Adams. It's just behind Van Wick who has to just try and keep his balance on his heels and does well in the end to keep the fades of play going for Stellenbosch. Here's cover, gets past two challenges and then receives it back off Richards and he's got pennant to his right, but the ball needed a little bit more power on it to make its way through the Stellenbosch defence. Adams, just trying to just guide it back around the corner, but good acceleration and pace off the mark from Van Wick to get there ahead of Alves there. Here's cover. Plays it through to Pennant. And then the sliding challenge comes across from Shakir, but it's going to be a uh, corner kick as we enter the final minute of this half. One minute added on at the end by the fourth official, Mr. Massey Ellis. There will be a minimum of one minute of additional time in the first half. Minimum of one minute of additional time. And it's going to be. Henry Cartwright to deliver as Leicester search for another goal back. Living towards a near post, not of the way, but it might fall still for Logan Briggs here on that right hand side. Cartwright still over on this left hand side after taking the corner. And there is the heart and whistle that brings to an end a delightful and enthralling first half here in Leicester. Stellenbosch started so quickly, a brace from Devon Titus before Pennant hit back, and then Titus out of the third for himself and for Stellenbosch. Then Richards hit back before an unbelievable effort from Carl Jurgens to restore the two goal advantage for Stellenbosch, but it's been 
an excellent first half and certainly worthy of the level of a final of the Premier League Next Generation Cup. And we can have a look back at the goals, all the goals from that half. The opener came from their captain, Devon Titus. It was Antonio Van Wyck that just slid it through and Titus worked onto his left foot and was able to guide it past Chip Wazy. Then again, it was the running in endeavour of Antonio Van Wyck that was the key part of the build-up and then Titus just bundled it over the line. But then came the Leicester City response. Will Alves managing to work some space on the area. He found Pennant from about 25 yards out and struck it well was left foot low beyond Lee Brandt in the Stellenbosch goal. But then only moments later, bare, mere, barely seconds, it was Devon Titus who was there to pick up his hat-trick to make it 3-1 to Stellenbosch. But the goals did not stop there in this game. There's Godsmark Ford and Henry Cartwright who are combining in the build-up. And it eventually found its way through to Richards. He just slotted it into the near post on his left foot. But then became the maybe the highlight of that first half. An absolutely wonderful strike from Carl Jurgens from about 30 yards out of dipping half volley beyond Chibwezi in the Leicester City goal. It was a superb finish and probably a contender for goal of the Premier League Next Generation tournament. Just an astonishing finish from Carl Jurgens. But we will take a breather for now. I certainly need it. And you can take one at home too. We'll be back in 10 to 15 minutes or so for the second half of the 2022 Premier League Next Generation Cup Final. At halftime, it's Leicester City to Stellenbosch FC 4.
Welcome back to Leicester City FC's training ground here in the Midlands for the final of the Premier League Next Generation Cup 2022. At the end of the first 45, we have six goals to report. Leicester City have two and Stellenbosch have four. A first half that saps my energy commentating on it and I'm sure that we will get another thrilling second half. Bosch opened the scoring with two quick fire goals and then a response came from Kian Pennant before only seconds later Devon Titus claimed his hat trick. But it wasn't long after that there. Amani Richards got one back for Leicester City but then a marvellous effort from Carl Jürgens to restore the two-goal advantage for Stellenbosch. There's Letter scores at four goals to two to the South African outfit. As we look to start the second half and we will find out who is going to be crowned champions of the Next Generation Cup. And there's going to be a substitution for Leicester City at the start of the second half. Coming on as number 15, Jack Lewis. Just going to wait and see who he's coming in for. I can't see Will Alves out on the pitch, so it might be Leicester City's number seven. And that is confirmed by our fourth official, Jack Lewis, coming on in place of Will Alves. There's also going to be a change for Stellenbosch, and it's a change in goalkeeper. So coming off is... Lee Brandt, and he's going to be replaced by their number one, Lebo Hang and Thine. So on comes. Levo Hang in Thene. He was a uh, part of the South Africa Kosafa Cup squad just a week and a half ago, so he's one who has that international experience to his name. Very different physique to Lee Brandt, who's just come off. And Thene, a taller, bulkier man in that goal. Great little first time chested pass there from Jamari Lindsay. Wonder if this second half will start as quickly as the first one did. Antonio Van Wick and Devon Titus, the two who are causing the Leicester City defence all sorts of problems. Here is Van Wick. Wood. Now Shakir. Woods squeezes it through. And now Adams can run, and it's now with Antonio Van Wick. He might go for goal from range, and he can't keep his effort down. Just worked it onto his right foot, but very straight shot that went a few yards over the goal of Chibwezi. Is Adams. Jurgens plays it inside and it's let to run. It might come back here for Jaden Adams. Just ran through and the clearance came. And 
Wood skips past Brandon Cover. And now Oshwin Andrews. Shakir plays it down the line and finds Devin Titus. Wood plays it across to Jaden Adams, but Jack just gets in there ahead of him. Back to his Carl Jurgens running nicked away from him. But here comes Jaden Joseph. Now Logan Briggs. Awaits the overlap and run and finds Jaden Joseph again, who just bangs that first delivery. Here's Cartwright. Just steps in and gets past Bodgy, but Stellenbosch just applying the pressure in those central areas, but Leicester City might have found a way through here. Briggs finds Jaden Joseph on this right flank. Trying to take on Isaacs. Gets towards the bar line. Gets the cross in. Just hit Jurgens. Just going to come back out for Grist. Grist just being put under pressure by Jaden Adams. And then Jaden Joseph of Leicester flicks it on to Penham. Cover. Looking for the run of Jamari Lindsay. And a slight hesitation there from in thin eight. The substitute keeper just getting up to speed with the pace of this final. As Titus shows good footwork to get past man and clip a ball forward. And Bodgy, he's got a pace to burst into the area here. Great opportunity saved by Shibwazi, but the chance isn't over. Still with Bodgy. Now Van Wick. And it's another chance. And it's hit the post. And it's still not over. And it's come back for Jurgens. Jaden Adams, it was who wrapped it against the upright. And now. Brandon Cover is down holding his knee. But frantic inside the Leicester City 18 yard area. The great ball through and it found Bodgy just struck it straight at Chibwezi. They collected the rebound and set it for Antonio Van Wick who showed good awareness to set it to Jay Nams who just tried to curl one into the corner and almost did. And just found that right hand post. Brandon Cover just down here receiving some treatment. Looks like potentially a left knee injury. They're just flexing and extending that knee. But he is back to his feet despite a slight hobble, but hopefully he's okay to finish off this final. Brandon Cover, 26 appearances in the under-18 Premier League last year. Three goals to his name from central midfield. Back on the field of play, just outside of your pitcher. And Thene. Bodgy just goes down under a challenge from Gosmark forward, but a referee doesn't see anything wrong or any infringement. But this time, he does. Just on halfway, Devon Titus collapsing under the challenge of Jamari Lindsay. Right under the watchful eyes of the referee. Here's Nthene. Drives the ball out to the right-hand side. Godsmark forward just steps in and finds the ball through to Richards. Now here's Lewis. Now Ben Griss. Cover. Takes a nice on the turn and finds the ball through to Pennant. Got Lindsay on that left-hand side. It's going to find its way through to Jamari Lindsay. Driven cross, crosses blocks and then hacked away by Carl Jurgens. Here's 
Here's Grist. Joseph. <laughs> Driving into that channel. Sets it right and finds Briggs. Cover. Prods it forward. Tries to find a return, but works way out to Joseph, and it's an acrobatic clearance from Liam de Kock to keep it out of danger for now. Here's Grist. Now Jaden Joseph. Car right, just looking for the diagonal ball there. And that's a really good turn, but can't quite get past Jack Lewis cleanly. And now it's found its way out to Jaden Joseph. Briggs breaking into the area. Isaacs gets an important intervention. And goes down but doesn't win anything. And it's going to break it for Briggs eventually. Sets it to Penn. And it's back with Brandon Cover here inside the 18-yard box. But just crowded out. And now away comes Stellenbosch. It's with Devin Titus. Got Boji ahead of him. Here is the striker. Just shrugs off Cartwright. Here's Joshua Wood. Not quite sure what Joshua Wood saw there as it goes behind for a goal kick. Briggs, exchange as well with Richards. Here's Richard again. Brandon Cover just fouled there by Antonio Van Wick. So there'll be a free kick to the left of centre, about 25, maybe 27, 28 yards from goal here for Leicester. going to be Jack Lewis, the substitute over this free kick. Joined in 2021 after he was released from Liverpool. Also came on as a, came on as a sub in the first game. And he's on as a sub at half-time here. And with a chance to get a goal back for Leicester. Instead he goes to the pass. It clipped in towards Richards and then he comes out very far to claim. But the flag goes up. On the near side. Andries and all, almost gave it away there. Kian Pennant was lurking on the poor touch, but fortunately for Oshwin Andries, he was just able to forcefully make his way through the challenge from Kian Pennant. The nephew of uh, former Liverpool man Jermaine Pennant. Shakir drives it forward towards Bodji. Excellent chest down, but the referee, I think, saw that caught his arm. Not too many complaints from Bodji there. Some half-hearted appeals to the referee.
Here's Briggs. Prods it down the line and almost finds Joseph, but it's come back for Briggs here. Here's Briggs again, slips the ball through. Excellent ball through to find Jamari Lindsay and it's dinked in towards Richards. And Isaac just has to watch that one at a far post. Appeals for handball, but nothing given by the officials. Now with Brandon cover, he's got Joseph overlapping. Digs across out towards the far post. Pennant can't bring it down, but it's gonna fall for Jamari Lindsay, who just hits it into the ground to call this thing off the shot. But unlike the first half, it's Leicester City who have come out of the interval a little bit better than their rivals. Joseph. That's lovely from Jaden Joseph into the area. And he's found a teammate, Richards, trying to pull the trigger. Excellent work from Jaden Joseph down by the byline. We're just going to get a substitution here. Coming off is uh, Jamari Lindsay, and he's going to be replaced by Mirsad Ali. Mirsad Ali started that first game against Bengaluru FC at left wing back. That game, he was replaced by Jamari Lindsay. But this time, it's vice versa. Mirsad Ali has come on to try and help his side back into this final. Can he contribute to this corner? It's Cartwright who's going to deliver. Lofted very high, and I think that's a miscue. Just heard a groan from Henry Cartwright as he lifted that one into the area. And then the pass from Jaden Joseph behind Cartwright, and that's a disappointing few moments there for Leicester City as they wanted to try and build something from that set piece. Isaacs. Grist watches it all the way onto the instep of his right foot. Chip Wazer, here comes the press from Stellenbosch, and it's come all the way, and that's an expert finish, is it? It's just over the crossbar. Jaden Adams. The goal and the opportunity was there. It was a difficult effort, difficult to control. Just couldn't quite keep that effort down. Clipped onto the roof of the net. Here's Boji. Titus just dueling with a Leicester City player there and it falls away as Stellenbosch and it's lofted into the channel for Van Wick's taste but just gonna skip off the well hydrated Leicester City surface. Lewis, so he just lets it run across his body and it's allowed Joshua Wood in. And here's Devin Titus, can he get a goal from range? Does get a shot off. But Chibwezi is able to watch that one all the way into his gloves. Stellenbosch just really started to press onto this left city defense. We haven't really seen that too much this half. But in the last three or four minutes, they've really crept up and applying pressure to that back three of Leicester City, and Devon Titus manages to get away from Gosmark Ford. Here's Van Wick. Just can't quite work it into some space for either a shot or a pass. And now Leicester City are coming back the other way. So we have Richards driving down towards the touchline. Across comes the cop just to put it into touch. Defensive sweep shot from Liam de Kock. Van Wick tries to spin away from his man and just opens up his body. But Mir Ali is tight on Shakir's touch. 
Devon Tice just loses out there and it's fallen for God's Mark Ford. Here's Lewis. Now Grist. Breaks. Tries to clip it through, but just hits the chest of Sean Isaacs. And now here's a chance for Stellenbosch to attack, but any good intervention from Ben Grist. And now it's played through to Jaden Joseph. Gets into the area, but covering well with Sean Isaacs. Really good chemistry between this Stellenbosch back line to be in the right position at the right times. Jurgens forward and finds his man. It's Bodgy who's racing away on goal here. Great opportunity for Bodgy! It's five for Stellenbosch. It's Mervyn Bodgy with the fifth. And that cues a pile on in that corner. Because we've only just over 25 minutes left here in Leicester. Here's Leicester's opponent, Stellenbosch. Who put one hand on the next generation trophy. A composed finish from Mervyn Boji. The striker hasn't had too many opportunities to himself. But he raced in behind that defence, latching on to the pass from Jaden Adams, it was. Slid it through and he had the run on Cartwright and he burst away into the area and opened up his body and just caressed it beyond Chibwezi in the Leicester City goal. And that makes it Stellenbosch 5, Leicester City 2. Lewis. Just uh, dispossessed there and fouled by the Stellenbosch midfielder. Have to say, it was an excellent ball through for Jaden Adams in that move there. And just down receiving treatment is Antonio Van Wick. Who has been a live wire for his side, particularly in that first half. And it is going to be Antonio Van Wick to depart here. And on in this place is their number 11, Roy Keane Avonte. Roy Keane and to coming off the bench. The youngest player to ever play for the Stellenbosch first team. The youngest to ever make his debut, rather, for the Stellenbosch first team. And here's Logan Briggs trying to take it on the turn. It's now with cover. It's got Mirsad Ali on that left-hand side. Might have a chance to deliver. Gets towards the byline. Just about digs that across in towards Richards. And it could have fallen anywhere there. It fell to the cock. He just cleared his lines. Isaacs clears long, great control from Bodgy, and then an excellent pass over towards Titus. That's excellent, but the touch from Titus couldn't match the quality that Bodgy displayed. Lewis. Briggs, Mirsad Ali to his left-hand side. Here is the substitute trying to take on Shakir on that far side. Titus does really well to make the interception and just clear it further downfield and keep the Leicester City attack at bay for now.
Jurgens. Looks the ball through to Devin Titus, and it's well weighted, but the wind just picked up at the wrong moment there. Here's Roy Keane of Antur. Inside to Jurgens, but just drifts across his body, and now it's with cover. But the sliding challenge comes in from Carl Jurgens. Now Josh Wood can play it over, and Devon Titus has broken in behind here. He's into the area, he's got options up with him, he goes for one of them, and it is Mervyn Bocci at the double to make it six for Stellenbosch. And Q, another pile on in that corner. Surely it's all but done now, 20 minutes remaining, but a four goal advantage now for Stellenbosch. Mervyn Bocci found himself in space inside a six yard box and Devon Titus just, just set it up on a plate for him. And it was an easy top in, tap in for Mervyn Bodgy. And it's Stellenbosch who race into a six goals to two lead. It's been a brilliant performance from the South African outfit and they are well on their way to winning this trophy. There's going to be a substitution for Leicester here. Godsmark forward is going to be replaced by fellow centre back Tom Wilson Brown. Cover. Now Lewis over that far side and Mir Salali can break him behind here. Briggs, nice turn, flicks it through to Richards who might have felt he had a chance there. The referee blew up quite early for the free kick. It is in a dangerous position though. Chance for Mir Ali on his left foot to cause some trouble for Nthene and the Stellenbosch defence. Will certainly make it a little bit more interesting in his final 20 minutes as Mir Ali into the wall and nodded back into the area. Now hacks away. Pennant takes it down and just shrugs off the challenge of Jaden Adams. Cartwright, diagonal ball searching for Jaden Joseph, but too far from Cartwright, and Joseph can't do anything about keeping that one in play. Well, what a trip away this has been for Stellenbosch, but four past Nottingham Forest in the first game, and now they've put six past Leicester in the final. Ten goals in two games and they might not be finished yet but for now they're gonna have to do some defending because here is Armani Richard but just loses track of where the ball is there and then Isaacs goes down for the free kick or throw in I think in the end goes the way of Stellenbosch here's Roy Keane Aventur Looking forward for Bodgy. He will, I'm sure, be keen to join his teammate and captain Devon Titus with a hat trick. Yeah, 
Jurgens. Strokes it right. And now it's worked its way out to Titus. Well, Leicester City put six past Bengaluru on Wednesday evening. I'm not sure they were expecting to concede six this afternoon, though. It's been an excellent display from Stellenbosch, as in Thene has to come out to clear his lines. Jürgen just needs some support there, or does he? Just wrestles off Briggs and then sprays a lovely pass out towards Devon Titus. Excellent from Jürgens and now Bodji sniffing around and Adams as well to cover there to collect and now there's some space for Briggs to run into good recovery from Roy Keane Aventa but Joseph collects in the channel gets past Isaacs and plays the pass low across the box and it's now with Logan Briggs once more Lewis Briggs plays it to Joseph but the Flag does eventually go up. I think Jane Joseph knew it was coming. I think everyone did, but the uh, Lions person just waiting to see the contact. Flicked on by Adams. Roy Keane have entered, just sniffing around there, but Cartwright was able to clear. Now it's with Adams again. This time he can't find the feet of Roy Keane have entered. Cover. Good touch inside, and then he's just clung on to by Carl Jurgens. Just some treatment needed here for Sean Isaacs. Just a look back at that sixth goal that Stellenbosch scored. Gosmark Ford just missed the header and Titus already scored his hat trick and he put it on a plate for his fellow forward, Mervyn Bodgie, to slot into the empty net. And it's given Bodgie a real chance again. Here's Hattrick too. And they're just going to be a substitution here for Leicester. Oncoming there, number two, Abdullah Javad. And off goes Jaden Joseph. And there's also going to be a couple of substitutions for Stellenbosch. Off comes Joshua Wood. And on comes Oluwetu Makanya. And also coming on is Thato Lucas. Just waiting to see who he's going to come on for. Just some confusion. Well, Sean Isaacs has gone off there, and so has Shakir. Adams finds Oshwin Andrews 
It goes to goal from range, and can he find it? Oh my word! What a strike from Oswin Andres! That is simply outrageous from Oswin Andres! It's seven heaven for Stelling Bosch, and that is something dreamy from Oswin Andres. I said Carl Jurgen's goal might be goal of the tournament, but I think it might have just been topped. That is stunning. There are not many words to describe that one. Oshwin Andri just stepped over halfway, had a look up, and from just inside the Letter City half, just lobbed it over Kalichi Chibwezi. That is unbelievable from Oshwin Andres, born and bred in Stellenbosch. And wow, has he made his mark here in Leicester. Stellenbosch seven, Leicester City two. Here's Pennant. Now De Kock. De Kock still battling there. And I tell you, that hit from Oshman Andres was like a six hit by Quinton De Kock. Just flew over the boundary and into the net. Simply ridiculous. That's brilliant though for Mercer Ali in the meantime. And the switch of play comes over to this near side. So we have Abdullah Javed. Now Logan Briggs. Now Roy Keane Aventur tries to get past Gris, but it's now back with Abdullah Javid. Jack Lewis just fouled inside the center circle by Jaden Adams. Wilson Brown. Lewis, first time pass finds Merced Ali. Now Grist. Just played it too far ahead of Brandon Cover and allowed Carl Jurgens to come in and get a touch on it. Liam de Kock with the throw in on the left hand side. All the way back to Oluwetu Makanya. Flicked on and Kara just has to watch himself here as Dato Lucas puts the pressure on, but that's nice play from Cartwright. And now Jack Lewis can try and skip past Adams. Here's Ali. Here's Grist. Now with Logan Briggs. Driving inside, plays the ball out to Lewis. Now Ali delivers a cross in and just gets ahead of uh, Richards there, not out of the way by McCanya. And now with Brandon Cover again, and now Abdullah Jave towards the bar line, gets the cross in and just flicked away by Oshwin Andrews. Excellent touch from Devon Titus there. And here is the man that scored that first half hat trick and set Stellenbosch on their way to where they are now. Lewis. Ali can't quite 
bring that one under his control. Wilson Brown, Titus, just impeding Jack Lewis there. Abdullah Javay, the substitute, running his man, and the cock comes across for a sliding challenge. <laughs> Wilson Brown. Now Mir Sad Ali. Briggs just picked up a spocket of space there in between the defensive and midfield lines. And here's Abdullah Javed. Clips it in. Should be easy for Nthene to collect. Kian Pennant couldn't grow enough to nod it past him. Driven ball across is nodded to Roy Keane, Aventur by Jaden Adams. Now Roy Keane, Avon Took, and get his man. Driving into the area, excellent running from Aventur. Played low and it's just evaded the white shirts that were pouring in there. Pennant. Advantage is going to be played as Briggs continues the attacking move. Here's Mir Said Ali. Cries of shoot from the crowd ignored. Here's Amani Richards, cutting in and strikes it low, but doesn't quite catch a hold of it. Slightly lethargic foul there from Mir Sad Ali. Maybe some frustration coming out in the Leicester players as we enter the final five minutes of this year's Premier League Next Generation Cup. Ball just goes into touch in front of the stand on the far side. He'll be seeing the trophy presentation in a few moments. So do hang around to join those fans on the far side in seeing that trophy presentation that will, well, should be going to Stellenbosch apart from if we see something quite ridiculous, but Here's Thato Lucas. Oh, and just a little bit of uncertainty in the area there, but Nthene can clear long. Hasn't really had too much to do since he came off the bench. And now a chance for Stellenbosch to keep running and maybe add to their tally here. Still going and it's driven over and into those nets behind Chibwezi's goal. Javed. Lewis. Tries to take on the turn but is met by Carl Jurgens. Yeah, 
Macania. For the first time in these first 85 minutes, the game just feels like the tempo has finally dropped. So maybe some of the Stellenbosch players will want to still add to their tally. I know Roy Keane, Aventa keeps calling for the ball right down here in front of me, and here he is, collects, but does really well to win it back, and now he can drive forward, and he's got Boggi up with him, who's on a hat-trick. Glorious opportunity, but just miscues it. He'd have been desperate to get his hat-trick and join his captain, Devon Titus, in doing so, but perhaps they just got to his head, and he just rushed the finish on his left foot. Here's Titus. Touch inside allows the challenge to come in. Then Boji goes down under a challenge from Cartwright. I think a knee just went in the back of Boji there, but the ball was won. Boji remains down inside the Lesser City penalty area. Does eventually get to his feet, just out of picture, Mervyn Boji. Is Abdullah Javed. Tried playing it through to Briggs, who just somewhat gives up on that through ball. Makanya. Clipped forward and it's intercepted by Abdullah Javed. Abdullah Javed. Cutting inside goes with his left foot and almost finds the top left hand corner. And there goes the final whistle here in Leicester. And it is their opponents today who win the Premier League Next Generation Cup. They win. A thrilling game by seven goals to two. A stellar performance from Stellenbosch, and they run out worthy winners of this trophy. It's been a marvellous week and an excellent display of the future of football in India, in South Africa, and here in the UK. And we have been treated to goals aplenty, and it was no different in today's game. Seven goals for Stellenbosch, two for Leicester City and boy were some of them of the highest quality Devon Titus bagged himself a hat-trick and then Bodji got his brace in the second half Jürgens scored a excellent goal in the first half but then it was maybe topped by a ridiculous long-range effort from Oshwin Andrews just inside the left city half court. Kalichi Chibwezi off guard to maybe be one of the goals of the tournament. And the Leicester City players can hold their heads high. They did put in a good performance, but Stellenbosch just proved too much in the end of a few, as I say, outrageous goals from Stellenbosch just put the game beyond doubt in that second half and it is a young Leicester City side taking on a slightly more experienced Stellenbosch team That brings an end to the tournament, but we will have a trophy presentation uh, in a few moments. So we'll leave you for now and we'll rejoin you in a moment for the presentation of the Premier League Next Generation Trophy.
Well, Stellenbosch FC have formed a guard of honour for their English counterparts, Leicester City. As the trophy presentation is about to get underway. Manish Basin, the BBC TV presenter, takes to the stage and he will be presenting the medals to both teams. Manish Basin is a big Leicester City fan, so maybe this one didn't go quite the way he wanted, but he will uh, take pleasure in awarding the medals to both sides, I'm sure. So the match officials just getting their appreciation from both teams. Referee Tom Parsons, Lucy Ann Briggs, Harry Warner, and the fourth official, Rob Massey Ellis. Just receiving their medals off Manish. to the runners-up of the Premier League's next generation cup. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Leicester City. And Leicester City will now collect their runners-up medal, led by Kian Pennant, who bagged himself two goals on Wednesday, and he popped up with another superb strike this afternoon, but it wasn't enough for Leicester City to take home the trophy. But a good week for Leicester to test themselves against some different styles of football from all across the world. There's Chris Popov just at the end of that line. Of course, scored a hat trick against Bengaluru on Wednesday. Didn't take part in today's game for whatever reason. So let's go and put your hands together for the runners up of the Premier League's next generation cup, Leicester City. presentation to make and that is to the winners of the Premier League's next generation cup Stellenbosch FC and now the victors of this year's Premier League next generation trophy Stellenbosch FC they've travelled all the way across from South Africa the club only founded in 2016 and have certainly got a few stars for their first team the first team campaign gets underway a week from now and some of these guys will feel they might have done enough to force their way into the plans of the first team manager. Mervyn Bodgie just getting his congratulations and his medal there. Scored himself, or bagged himself a brace rather, in the final. Dene just receiving his medal, came on a half time and didn't really have too much to do really in the uh, Stellenbosch goal. And here's Oshwin Andri, scorer of the quite ridiculous long range goal from just inside Leicester City half. And a great moment for these young players to experience. They've had a week over here 
in the UK. All the staff and players have had seminars from leading coaches and experts within the UK football industry to help develop their game and the game over in South Africa and learn some lessons. Of course, they've got to enjoy the fantastic facilities here in Leicester. And the final man to collect his medal will be Devon Titus, the captain of this Stellenbosch side. The man who bagged himself a hat-trick today, a match-winning performance from Devon Titus. And the winners of the Premier League Next Generation Cup are Stellenbosch FC. So there we have it, the winners of this year's Midlands group of the Premier League Next Generation Cup. They come out on top in this year's edition of the trophy. After winning the Disky 2 Challenge League, they have now won the Premier League Next Generation Trophy. Your champions are Stellenbosch FC. Thank you for joining us over the course of this week. We hope you have enjoyed our coverage here at Leicester and down at Tottenham Hotspur training ground as well. We hope to bring you more live action soon and hopefully you've seen a glimpse of the next generation of talent. But for now, we leave you with the winners of this year's Premier League Next Generation Trophy, Stellenbosch FC.
Let's go, we want to score. Let's go, Mike.